These highlights on the website are brought to you by Eastern Propane, your local hometown propane dealer. Eastern Propane, involved in your community. Call 827-3000. Sterling pitcher Samantha Giambri works out of a 1 2 3 top of the first and notches a strikeout to get the Cougars down in order. Giambri tries to get Sterling going in the bottom half of the first with a one out single to left. The Knights, the South Jersey champions, get runners to first and second, but Kelsey Roberts gets out of the jam with a strikeout to keep it scoreless. Kelly Moyer sends a long fly ball to right field that Stephanie Master Piolo makes a nice catch the second out of the inning. Melissa Lacator then follows up with an infield single with two outs for Kittatinny. But the Cougars run themselves out of the inning as the runner is caught in a rundown between second and third to end the inning with a score still 0-0 on this championship game played in Tom's River, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Kittatinny plays some good defense. Sarah Stoklinski stabs a Kelly McGoldrick's liner to end the inning with runners on second and third. All right, Giambri notches a strikeout to end the 1-2-3 top of the third to keep the game scoreless. Bottom of the third, Stephanie Hulme of Sterling hits a one-out single left to get the Knights going. After a walk, put runners on first and second. Roberts gets the big strikeout for the second out of the inning. There it goes right there. For the next batter, Stephanie Mastropiolo hits a grounder that has misplayed. Allows Hulme to race all the way home from second base to give Sterling a big one-nothing lead, ladies and gentlemen. But Roberts gets out of the jam by getting a grounder to third base to end the inning with runners on second and third, and Sterling holding on to a one nothing lead. Sterling pitcher Samantha Giambri puts the Cougars down in order with a pop out to second to end the inning. Kittatinny ends the bottom half of the fourth when Emily Hullings of Kittatinny tags the Sterling runner out with some good defense to keep it one nothing Sterling. After Kelly Moyer walks and advances to second, Meg Furley is robbed of an RBI single. Great catch by Alex Caridio. one nothing Sterling still leading in this game. Bottom of the fifth, Roberts and Kittatini get out of another jam when Melissa Lockator makes the play at first base to end the inning with a runner on second as Sterling is still up 1-0. Top of the fifth, Megan Smith of Kittatini tries to spark the Cougars. Infield hit right there. Emily Hullings then follows up with a single to left with runners on first and second and one out for the Cougars. Sterling left fielder Danielle McGowan, nice play to keep it to a single and prevent Kittatini from scoring. But Giambri gets Sterling out of the inning by inducing an inning-ending grounder to second with runners on second and third. Kittatini blows a big chance right there. Roberts and the Cougars stop another threat with a ground out to second base to end the inning. All right, Sterling center fielder Steph Yulm ends the game by catching a liner, and Sterling wins the Group 2 state title over our Lady Cougars of Pitt The final score, one to nothing, ladies and gentlemen, at Tom's River. We did a really good job defensively, offensively. We stayed with it. We picked people up, and, you know, we tried as best as we could, and the other team came up on top. But you know what? We're still winners no matter what. We stuck through it the whole time. You know, they had... Their pitcher did a great job. She really worked her change up on us. Um, but we stuck through the whole time. I think we all we gave it our all. All our fielders tried their hardest, and we were up to bat swinging every time. And just didn't go our way this time. But it was a great game. My kids, they did a heck of a job today. Um, you know, they they hit the ball. They made contact. You know, they. Sterling made good plays. Frawley had that nice little hit right over the yep. second baseman, and yep. the second baseman we would have scored on that. You know, not. I couldn't ask for a better better team than what I had this year. I'm very proud of them. Great job on the hill for Kelsey Roberts, giving up only one run and striking out seven. I pitched pretty well today. Um, they're good hitters. I gave up hits, but I feel like I scouted them pretty well. Um, Got to battle through the heat, you know, it's hard, but we did a good job. Kelsey pitched a really good game, she worked them in, out, high, low, changed speeds. She just did a really good job. <laughs> She pitched awesome today, she, like the whole season that she has been. Um, her changeup was working great. She was hitting her spot. She, she did an awesome job. She came through to us with runners on when we only had one out. Maybe we'd get a little nervous or something. She came right through, got that second out and strikeout for us. She did an awesome job. Kelsey did her job on the mound. She, you know, she held her composure together with runners on. She amazes me when she, she constantly shows her character. Doesn't matter how many runners are on, you know. Um, she makes the out, she gets the strikeout, she does what she's got to do. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't get the runners in when we had the opportunities. Cougars were excited to make the long trip to Tom's River. It was amazing. I still, I'm still getting the chills now thinking about it. It's just an amazing thing to be here. No one in our team's done it. It's like our coach just said, we're the best team to walk through Kittatinny for making it here. So it's a great feeling. It's an amazing feeling. There's no other team in the history of our school who has ever come here in softball. And to be here with the group of girls that 
I've been playing with this whole year is just amazing, and I love them all. Like they were my family. It was early. We were, <laughs> we were so excited. We were so excited to get down here. We got here. We were all ready to play. Watch the movies on the bus, and just all focused on the game the whole time. Coach Heather Mates has battling in the very tough SEIL prepared her team to get down here to the finals. The SEIL, um, a lot of people, you know, I guess they they don't take our league um, as serious. Yeah. I guess. Um, our, it's a tough league we're in. I, I, you saw this year, eight out of ten teams made the state playoffs, you know. Um, we were the underdogs, I think, from the beginning of the season. No one really expected much from us, and, and we kept battling. We, you know, we ran the table, we went the distance, and I mean, I couldn't, no team in our school's history has been this far.